Bark Lord, how are you? Jim, great video on uh, it's in her face. Um, I have two instances that came to mind when I saw it. Uh, one specific, the other general. But the specific one was I was dealing with this woman, and this woman was astoundingly beautiful. And you know, I could try to describe her, but it was more than what she looked like. It was this sense of uh, control and joy and confidence. Um, she exuded something, power. She exuded power. Um, I felt like I'd met a, uh, a princess from Madagascar. Um, well, she had done something. She uh, came to me to buy something. It was very inexpensive. Um, and what had happened to her is what's happened to me, and I bet you it's happened to you. Uh, she left her wallet behind. And you know, that happens. Like, uh, you put it in your jacket pocket for whatever reason, or... Um, and then what do you do? What do you do, Jim? When you show up to buy something and you realize your wallet's out in the car, or it's at home. Well, I'll tell you what I do, since I can't hear you. <laughs> I, uh, I go get my wallet. I say, oh, I'm sorry, uh, sorry for the inconvenience, I'm going to I'm gonna have to put this back, and uh, I'll be back later. Well, here's what this woman did when she found out she didn't have the money to pay for this inexpensive item. She turned to me and said, well, I don't have the money uh, to buy this, so... <laughs> and there was this moment where I kind of like... I was waiting for her to say, so I will have to go get my wallet. But she said, so, and then just kind of left it there and smiled at me. And, you know, when you're in a social situation and you're looking for cues and you pick up on subtle hints? <laughs> I think she thought I was going to buy that for her. <laughs> I went, so, <laughs> and I just burst out laughing. You know, because it just seemed ludicrous. I'd never, I thought I'd never encountered anything quite like that. Hey! No! Come on. Don't roll in dead stuff. You disgusting, filthy dog. Ugh. So, uh... Yeah, so she laughed back and handled it with grace and a plum. And I felt understand too. She's like, oh, well, you know... I thought you might, but that's cool that you didn't. Um, so, uh, that was the first time that happened. Uh, but in a general sense, I used to work at uh, music venues, and I'd have ladies come in and offer uh, to expose themselves in lieu of currency. They'd say, I'll show you mine <laughs> if you let me go watch this concert without paying. And it's like, it'd be like $12 or something like that. And uh, I'm like, really? Like, it's $12 to look at your breasts? Because <laughs> I'll tell you right now, it, it's more to see mine. <laughs> um, and there'd be groups of ladies doing it. It's like, oh God, like, you yeah, know, that's nice. It's nice to see breasts. They're so cool, aren't they? But uh, the whole idea of sitting there in this cold hall while strange women, like, expose their breasts. I'm like, yep, thanks. Yeah, two boobs in, uh, two boobs in, two boobs in, two boobs in. You know, I don't actually need to see the rest of you guys' boobs. Just enjoy the show. Well, nice. So glad I don't have a daughter. <laughs> Not that you guys, you guys, that wasn't erotic at all. That was, uh, that was creepy imagine if I went in to buy an ice cream cone and said, uh, I'll show you my penis if I could have that ice cream cone for free. Come on, that ice cream cone costs like $3. It's my penis. That's got to be worth $3. Penis, 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 penis. Oh, yeah. So, you know, it's in my pants. 